Welcome back, sports gamers. It's the natural Madden 21. First details on franchise mode, and it's about as disappointing as you can imagine. I mean, honestly, it's so bad. These are literally like patch notes. And I know a lot of times people say Madden, cut, copy, paste, et cetera, et cetera. And a lot of times, a lot of things they say that for, I don't agree with. But this, literally, there's nothing in here that could not have been done in a patch. This could literally be Madden 20 franchise patch. There is nothing. This is the most, I mean, I already had low expectations for franchise and the, the somehow it managed to fall below my expectations i'm gonna go through these i'm, I'm just gonna call them patch notes i, I'm, I don't even want to call it madden 21 uh, uh franchise features or no i'm these are madden 20 patch notes literally and i am i am the most patient person i'm the most understanding because i have been behind the scenes I know, I know how tough it is, the, the job of developers, game development, not just EA, but just period. After, you know, spending time, other developers, and, and going through the process, seeing the day-to-day, -day, literally, literally sitting down and seeing the day-to-day, -day and, and, and the struggle of game development, AAA game development is not easy. That's why there's not a ton of sports games out there like that, especially AAA titles, because it is hard. But this is talking about this is so disappointing. Talk about mailing one. I, I just hope they have something built up for, for next gen franchise because this is so bad. Let's get right into it. They, they have things on here that that are bullet points that are that are just be new X factors making a way to franchise. More details. That's a bullet point that has nothing to do with franchise. They're already getting new X factors. That's not even anything to do with franchise. Oh, well, they're in franchise. Thank you. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why wh why would you exclude them? Like, yes. Uh, next up. Franchise has an expanded wildcard playoff round to match the real-life NFL, which now features three games. To okay, that's a rule update. That That's nothing changing. That's literally keeping with the current NFL format. That is not a bonus. That's not a bullet point. That's already expected to happen. Updated all rookie contracts amount to be authentic to actual draft rookie contract. Updated rookie contracts. Really? That's it. Return every position's available abilities to better consider in-game effectiveness of the ability and archetype authenticity. Also made the second ability unlocked for most positions 85 overall. It was 80. So originally when they first started last year, um they unlocked at uh they everything unlocked at like 80 and then in a later update because that's how we started our franchise in pml and then later it was pushed up to unlock later uh the second one will unlock at 90. Uh, so now they've made it uh at 85 they lowered it again so yeah that, that that's a, <laughs> okay again something that can be done in a patch nothing <laughs> no added feature no improvement there just you just slide the number up and down the scale just where the abilities unlock all right okay fix multiple cases of in logic of players considered for dev trait upgrade at the end of the season not checking the correct stat types yeah i i, I, I had this happen my, myself with uh my tight end it was kind of glitched and uh, yeah, he, he should have got a dev trait upgraded, but th that whole system needs to be revamped. The fact that the fact that cornerbacks get dev trait upgrades dependent on tackles is beyond ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. The fact that linemen can't get dev upgrades is ridiculous, especially when the way the pass rushers go wild with the abilities. I see nothing about that in there. I see nothing about a quarterback can throw 60 interceptions in a season and get a dev upgrade because he's in the top five of passing yards. There's no logic behind it. There's no intelligence behind to that system where it rewards players how it should be. A cornerback, I, I've literally, multiple years of franchise, have had an all pro bowl 
defensive roster, number one defense, number one against the run, number one against the pass, and my players drop in dev. They all drop in dev because they didn't have enough tackles or have enough. What? There's no logic behind it. It doesn't make any sense. And they kept this. They just kept the same system. The same. same I don't see anything up about changing the dev trade system at all. So, uh, uh, ho hopefully, hopefully they reworked it. They fixed multiple cases of logic and players considered at the end of the season not checking the correct stat types. So I, I know there was one. I think what was safeties or something. It was it was double checking. It was double counting tackles and not some other things. So that, that that's just a fix. That's a patch. That's a patch. Updates to all team back in dev chart philosophies so they match the team's game. All right. Okay. And and you know th there's more stuff here as far as uh, the the uh, face of the franchise uh, mode which I'll, I'll I can go over I'll go over in a different video. This is for all my as they call it now classic franchise. It, it was it was uh, connected before we was connected and now we classic. So I feel like we already got forgotten. We already got sunsetted. We already got put on. This is was legacy. Franchise is a legacy mode now. You're classic. You're a classic. You know, you, you know things that are like classic cars. Cla you know, th things like these are things that are classic don't get updates. They, they, they don't get new things. Something that's classic, it just we, that's just how it is. It's a classic. Don't touch it. So, I, so that just shows you how EA thinks about franchise mode. We're a classic. It's, it's, it's fine the way it is. We don't need to add mini games or coaching carousel or position battles or any of those things that make it like a real NFL franchise because we're a classic mode. It's just, it's just, it's fine how it is. It's all good how it is. <laughs> to just show you how, I, I mean, <laughs> the thing is I expected this and I'm somehow still managed to be disappointed. Up the added position specific offensive alignment archetype progression buckets for uh, tackle, guard, and center to capture the variance of overall formulas based on positional expectations. Previously, all offensive linemen were pulling from the same progression bucket. All right. Okay. Sure. I mean, are we not going to deal with the progression and the regression system? That's. <laughs> oh, you took out regression completely. Uh, um, you know, where, where guys don't no longer regress, and then you know, I, I, I don't. That that whole system is needs to be reworked. And there's so many systems that need to be done over, or improved, done better, and they're they're not even trying. Fix the issue where defensive playbooks and schemes for our fictional coaches will be misaligned. Three four playbook with a four three scheme. That is it. The next Gridiron Notes Tuesday, they'll be talking about playbooks. That's it. That That's your franchise update. So I'll do a separate franchise, face of the franchise video. I mean, I don't really care about that mode. I don't play it. But just for uh, news and, you know, get you guys and like, get your news from YouTube. But I'm disappointed. I, I would love to hear what you guys think about it. I, I'm, I'm sure you feel the same way I do. I'm sure you feel the same way I do. I mean, it's just so many things, you know, scouting, individual scouting, senior bowl there's so many things they just you know improving the franchise app um you know the salary re re uh, restructuring doing we need more to do in franchise besides play the game and do practice there has to be more to it and and, and the way they're dealing with it right now I, I i don't know the exact numbers but the way they're dealing with it it almost feels like face of the franchise is huge people loved it a ton of people play it and connected French form <laughs> the artist formerly known as connected franchise which is now classic franchise is not played by maybe we're just a loud very small vocal minority we're a tiny community that's hardcore that's dedicated that love franchise mode and maybe we are the minority and they see hey no one, you know, besides these guys on YouTube or these, these small little groups of, of, of online franchises, no one plays this. The large majority of millions of Madden players, they all love face of the franchise and they love, uh, you know, cutscenes and they love acting like they have an agent 
and they get to meet NFL players and get drafted. Maybe that's the experience that the majority of Madden players want. And we're just the old classic people that are just left behind. And if that's if that's the future of EA uh, and Madden, then you know that that's that's something that that, that doesn't make me very excited. I don't get excited by knockout KO or DJ Khaled uh, throwing uh, back flipping and, and throwing 80 yard passes. Uh, I'm, I'm not excited about French face of the franchise or any, I, I, I get, I, I do love movies and I, I love cinematic games, you know, the last of Us stuff like that, but that, that's not what I'm looking for from my football game. You know, I want good gameplay. I want a immersive franchise mode. And, and like I've said, I've said this to people in the comments, if, if something is like any other product, if you're not happy with it, if it's not satisfying your needs, then you don't support it. And that's what it comes down to. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, disappointing one for me. I don't know what else to really say. It's just, I, I, I just have just this list and lists of just things that could have been done. And that, and they, they, I feel like they just mailed this one. This is, this is literally, I, I, I can't, I can't say anything. This is literally, this is an update. This is, this is literally, this is Madden 20 franchise mode. And unless something new or later gets announced that I don't know about, but right now, this is, this is Madden 20 franchise mode with, with the patch. That's it. Um, that, that's, that's it. This, this, there's, there's a bullet point. This is it. This is it. There's, there's nothing, there's nothing coming to connect the franchise or classic franchise as they say it now. So nothing much more to be said about that, really. I just, um, I, I, all, all I can hope for is that next gen, next gen will bring the franchise updates that we're looking for. But if it's still called classic franchise, I, I think we've already been retired to the sun. <laughs> we've already been sunset and we're, we're, we're riding to the sunset. You know, just look at the flowers. Just look at the flowers. Uh, that is it. Catch you guys in the next video. If you enjoy our content here at STL, like, subscribe for more news, reviews, and tips from your favorite sports games. Want to take your game to the next level? Join us on Patreon and become an STL Insider today.